Hey everybody, Phillips Game here. I am back again today with another live stream, and today I am playing a little known game called Until Dawn. This game was produced by Sony Entertainment Network, and it is solely made for the PS4. There are no PC or Xbox One releases due to the fact that it's proprietary to Sony, the owners of the PlayStation. If you haven't heard of Until Dawn until now, if you've been living under a rock because this game was released in 2015, it's one of the biggest smash hits of that year. The game revolves around the butterfly effect, where a simple action or reaction in the beginning of the game can completely change the outcome at the end of it. In this game, I believe there are a total of 36 unique endings, 36 or 38, and that's solely due to the fact that there are six people in the game that are required to live until dawn. I don't want to spoil too much about the game, but it's very interesting in how it works. It revolves around the butterfly effect. But I will be hopefully getting in this run through the game, because I'll be doing multiple run throughs in order to get all achievements. There are two things I want to get. I want to get They All Live which is an achievement for letting every person survive until dawn. And I want to get every totem, every clue, and every single piece of evidence. Like, if that makes any sense. And the walkthrough I'll be using for that is Shiraco's 100%. So it has all collectibles, all characters saved, and a perfect 100% choices. So if you hear gameplay in the background, that's why. So let's start a new story. A tiny butterfly flapping its wing today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. It shows that something so small can cause something so devastating, is what it's pointing towards. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how your story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh.
Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? You know... Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. So, the first choice here is wake Josh or find others. I'm gonna find Josh. others. There's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Dad. That wasn't serious. You jerk! Hannah! There are technically Hannah! There are technically three classifications for endings. You know, I kinda think you're the last the best, the worst, and normal. But normal can be anywhere from oh, oh kind of nice. And there's a safe path and the fast path here. I'm taking the safe path. Just due to that's what Shirocco does. And then I believe he follows the sound. I'm just gonna rewind this video a little bit to see. So. Which one does he do? I'm trying to remember. Oh, false the footsteps, okay. Fuck! Oh, by the way, there's a lot of cursing in this game. the status update. Okay, so... The twins? Nothing. And I will be getting all these clues. Mystery man. There are a lot of totems. The first one you actually get in this area. And the five totems are black totems which represent death, yellow which represent guidance, brown which represent loss, Danger, which are red, which represent danger, and white, and white, which represent fortune. The butterfly effect. 
I don't know which ones these do, but I will soon find out. first totem of the game. I will be getting all of these, so R2 and rotate. And that is a mandatory death in this game, unfortunately. So Yes, there are avoidable deaths. But the avoidable deaths are ones that occur later in the story after the prologue. Anna. What the hell was that? Hannah. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here. I just noticed she has a butterfly tattoo. So dumb. Wendigos. Hannah, is that <laughs> Keep note of that for later in the game. This choice here is more of a uh, personal choice. You can either choose to drop Hannah or let go. And I am going to do neither. Because all that does is snap a branch. So I have made no choice. And very up close shot of a dead sister. Well, dead sisters. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience.
It's an oil painting with a scarecrow and a nice farmhouse. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It does make me happy, at least for the serenity of it. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. Oh. It's interesting. So would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? No, it would not. And why is that? I'd be lonely. Oh. Well, there is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. This is something we need to explore further. Don't you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next time you try to surround yourself with a friend. In a place that makes you feel safe. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last I'm gonna keep this cutscene going, I'm just gonna get something to drink. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them, 
I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Bella? You hungry? Huh? I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. that you can just pause that
guidance totem. <clears throat> So that's the mystery man. Okay, that's weird why Shirako did that, but okay. Close the bag. Chris. Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm going to blow your mind. I should pause this for a second. Is 
definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station sometimes. Creepy. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Only bought a mountain. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. I feel like you're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the train bra on the girl in front of him, so the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, I became friends to this day. Josh made heaven. If it weren't for the fact, Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day, decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train rock. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Aha, uh -huh, an allusion to the very premise of the game. I don't like her. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Ready, please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
great. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Okay, which decision is this? Mike and M split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been like where it's pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, and we were getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya! Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you.
Somebody's getting a little friendly. Just I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on every breakup. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Not... I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I oh, damn it. Matt. I'll just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> hey, hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh, oh, oh hi. Hey. Oh, snap. I'll be right back. I'm just going to use the washroom.
apologies for that wait. As uh, soon as I'm done this, I'm going to just end the stream. Hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. That was close to missing that. Right. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you go down. <laughs> Gotcha! Done! Done city! So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So, are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Them for later, buddy. Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote and quote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. As soon as uh, this interaction with Dr. Hill is done, because there's one coming up very soon, or right now, I'm going to end that if there's no cutscene or interaction with characters after. Hello again. And how are we? I trust that you have stayed company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the page again. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. That's starting you. So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. God.
I'm following this exactly how Shirako did, or Shiriko, however the hell you pronounce it. Apologies if you watch this, but it's, um, not all of these are my real instincts. I'm just following it exactly how he's doing it. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. Snake, clown, and needle. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Also, just to note, I've already seen a full walkthrough of this, and I've already figured out exactly what happened to Josh's mind through all this and who Dr. Hill really is. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. You got a spare million lying around and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. It's so good to see you. Yo, yo, yo. We got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey. You doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough about your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just want us to have a good time, you know? Like always. I'm scared. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's nice. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically break in if you own a place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah. That does sound pretty nice. Oh, there is a totem right around the corner. Uh, I think. Ashley's looking pretty hot today, right? Yes, there is. I was looking the wrong way. Thankfully, I'm a diligent person, otherwise I would have missed that. Oh, come on. Let me pick up the damn thing. Oh, I was, I was using the wrong stick. Ay, that happens in chapter 6 or 7.
or sorry, seven or eight. And that's linked to a trophy, by the way. Good God, that every, whenever I first saw that, it gave me chills, like an ins an absurd amount of chills. Ah, uh, come on, come on. spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she wouldn't even know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I just didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coach Reese, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cold buns. Hmm. Some of the clues are out of order for some reason. I don't know why. ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God speak, Pilgrim. There is a totem here. And it's another guidance one. That's the end of the game. Again. Why? Ugh. It's always alluding to the very end of the game.
Bear's Clue, too. What have we here? for the twins. Maybe I won't be ending this as soon as I thought. Huh? What the hell was that? Which clue the f oh, so that's clue three. the twins as well. I didn't know that. But now I do. That's clue two. Okay. Any clue in this game is actually missable, and a lot of the totems are too. Like, essentially all of them, because only only a select few are actually directly in your path of where you're going in the game.
So that's clue number three for the mystery man. Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case file, and there's nothing we can do. Agent Freeman, we don't have the legal power to restrict his move. I know it's not what you want to hear, so call me if you want to know. At least I know where there's a jump scare in this. But I don't know where that damn door is. <laughs> Cause I'm an idiot. Ah. There we go. There's the door I'm looking for. So, jump scare in five, four, three, two, one. Grab. Ah! Wolf! Get the fuck! Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here! any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want. Right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from my girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. What's still going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Shut up, come on. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap. 
what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? You think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. We can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin and what I told you about? Yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. Wanna go do that? Any place about that for? It, it's right up the trail. Well, that's over. So, Josh, uh, can we get the spy going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay. on our side. You play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Alright, roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay, you want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. So, that's the amount of time. Well, that's how far I'm going to go right now for at least this live stream. So, my name is Unfailable Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. If you did, please leave a like on it. If you want to see more of this, comment, you guys want to see, comment what you guys want to see next time. And subscribe if you're new here. I always enjoy having new people around. And I just want to say quickly before, I'm le before I finish leaving, I've had a lot of stuff going on lately that's been screwing around with my schedule, and I do want to sincerely apologize about that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I'll see you guys later. Bye.